we on? So here we have uh, cow milk products and we also have goat milk products. I'd like to grab a couple of them. And we'll talk a little bit about them. I'm going to pour off one, but I just want to point out we have a green top here and we have a water milky fluid on the bottom. That's milk that hasn't been homogenized. You won't see that in the grocery store. So I have a quart here of goat milk. And goat milk's actually hard to find in, in the US in general that hasn't been pasteurized. Um, a lot of people try goat milk and they'll say, oh, it tastes really goaty. That's because it's been heated. And when you heat that, it gets that, you gets that gamey flavor. The more you cook something, it gets that kind of gamey flavor. That's why a lot of gamey meats they do tartars with. I recently saw that they're making tartar with kangaroo in Australia. We do a tartar with bison. And it's they're really fantastic when they haven't been cooked. They're just great as tartars or carpaccios um, or ceviches. They're really good. So I'm going to crack open here a little bit of goat milk. I just want to point out there's a cream top there cream on the lid. Again, that's from non-homogenization. I'm just going to pour a little bit. So I want to first talk about the color of this milk. It's white like this naturally. It kind of has like a, an off-white, off a little bit of cream, creamy color. And the reason, milk is naturally this color, but when you heat it, when you boil anything, it kind of changes the color a little bit. So commercially, there's actually a study out right now that there's um, on milk, it doesn't say what the ingredients that are in it commercially, but they actually add titanium dioxide to brighten the color of, of milk in, a, in the store commercially. So you're, you're giving yourself that carcinogen, titanium dioxide, uh, when you want milk. And I just want to drink this raw milk and show you that it has no goaty flavor at all. Like, it's, it's amazing. This tastes very similar to cow milk. I mean, almost like a skim milk. It's it's very, very light in its flavor. A lot of people have this um, myth in their mind that, oh, if I get the raw milk, it's going to be so thick, it's going to be like cream. No, 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 no. It's actually when we homogenize the, the cow milk, it's so thick and mucoid because cow has four stomachs, a lot, lot more mucoid con content. When you homogenize and heat it, it turns real thick and creamy like that. And that's why a lot of people prefer the, the skim milk. But natural milk, milk straight, straight from the cow, tastes like skim, it has the consistency, I should say, of skim milk, but tastes absolutely amazing. So, we talked about the proteins and the enzymes. Uh, I just want to kind of reiterate that and why it's so important that this is an enzyme, nutrient-rich superfood. It's great for your children. It's great for it's a bioavailable calcium. Uh, a lot of us are are calcium deficient today, and the reason why is because that synthetic calcium that you're getting in your vitamins, the synthetic calcium that you're getting in your fortified milk, is not bioavailable. So you know what? You're just urinating it out. You're not. Your body cannot use it. This is bioavailable. I, it's a live, living protein with enzymes. I put it in my body. My body can uptake it immediately. Big difference, big difference than it's sitting in my body and causing inflammation and my body having a hard time breaking it down and then discarding it because it's viewing it as poison. Huge difference. So I, I, just, I just want you to kind of get the idea of both sides of that. Um, another, another thing is that it has those enzymes and it has the proteins. With the enzymes that are sensitive, when they're heated, again, kills them. Kills those enzymes, they're dead. Have the protein, ah, taking over. You know? It's a good idea to keep in your mind because that war is going on in your digestion. It's full of bacteria. Good bacteria. Bacteria. We have yogurts here too um, that are cultured. Good bacteria is really great for um, digestion and also for to be regular. So it's great. So I think that everybody should come out and give it a try and be your own scientist. Make the decision for yourself.